Okay. Tay just made a video of his um, braided mohawk. And so I thought I would show you guys my mohawk that I do. And I actually sometimes wear it to church. And I'm getting ready to get my hair done today. So I got to do it now in order to um, be able to get my hair done this afternoon. Because after I get my hair done, I can't do it. So, let me go ahead and get started. All right. It, I call it a pony, to, a pony hawk. Sometimes my son calls it a spider hawk. You can call it whatever you want. But basically, these are little rubber bands. And you'll see. that I am just taking these little rubber bands and I'm making some little ponytails. Ooh, you hear the snap crackling pop? Because the roots is calling out for Carmen. Do you need condition? Yes, Carmen, I need some condition. So, now I actually probably need a touch up. Anyway, that's ponytail number three. Am I going to take these out when I go pick up my son from school? I don't know. Sometimes I wear them just any kind of way. Y'all don't know. I'm kind of like, I do what I want to do. Oh, that rubber band broke. The only thing is when you got a crazy funky... Pony hawk like this, I call it the pony hawk. You gotta have your hurt, your your um your face done and all of that. Okay, that's the beginning of it. We haven't finished. I'm gonna turn to the side. That's the beginning. We just got one, two, three, four ponytails. Now you take the first and this you take half of the first and half of the second and you put them together. What did I love them? Okay. And then you take the other half of the second and half of the third. And you put them together. And my grandmother said it looks like a macrame. But whatever. And half of the one, two, half of the third, and half of the fourth, and put them together. And so you're building your mohawk. Okay, let me turn to the side to see. It's building out, building out, building out. Depending on how long your hair is, is how high you can go. So now, I like to keep this front one up. So I'm going to take the half of the first and the fourth of the second and put them together. Because the only hair out I like going down is going to be the bang. Then the fourth of the third, and the fourth that remains of the, I've lost count, but whatever, you know what I mean, you just keep going, and then the fourth of that remaining one, and the fourth of the next remaining one, and put it together. And then the fourth of the final one, and the rest of the last one, and you put it together. And 
Then you decide if you want it to stick straight up, if you want it to lay down, or whatever you want it to do. I like it to be straight up. I like it to be straight up. But I also like, I don't quite like that. I need it to come down. I may have to come down with that. And come down with that. Like that. All right. So it's kind of like a fountain. And then, kind of, I need some gel and stuff, but I don't want to put any crap in my hair for you right now. But just so that you can get the idea, it is a funky, funky, cool. Little silly mohawk <laughs> that I probably need a brush to get. I need to get all smoothness. All the rest of this, you want it to be smooth, you want it to have made it smooth when you put it up. But let me turn to the side so you can see the complexity of the mohawk the complexity of it. I think it's so cool. I think it is so cool and simple and silly. And I enjoy wearing it. But like I said, you gotta have your your hair did. I mean like your face done and your makeup on. And you really need to make sure that your outfit is not a workout outfit because I worked out today. So you gotta have it together. But anyway, that's the pony hawk. The pony hawk. The pony hawk. Not to be outdone. Neither to outdo my baby's Tay's braided hawk. But enjoy it. And keep walking on water. Bye.